Good day everyone! Our topic for today is all about the legal basis of mother tongue. But before anything else, let's have an energizer or can be an icebreaker for us to stay active or and be relaxed as a matter of relaxation like that. So this is just an action song so all you need to do is to follow it. I request everyone to uh, please open your camera for us to know that you are par uh, you are participating about our exercise for today's video okay so let's start let's stand up Jessica Veras, together with my group mates, Ray John Sumihai, Wendell Banyas, Yancy J. Rizan, Patrick Tango, we are going to talk about the legal basis of mother tongue. Welcome to studying our first language. This topic aims to educate readers about the value of using one's mother tongue both as a subject and as a medium of instruction. Have you heard that MTD MLE? Familiar, right? It is a mother tongue based multilingual education. So, what is language? A language is a system of conventional spoken manual or written symbols by means of which human beings, as members of a, of a social group and participants in its culture, express themselves. It is also a foundation of every culture and an abstract system of word, meaning, and symbols for all aspects of culture. What was the first language which you uttered when you started to talk? Was it Tagalog, English, Bisaya, Cebuano, or Ilonggo, etc.? For my case, I am from Bicol. So my first language is Rinconada, or the Bicol language. At first, it is hard for me to talk in Tagalog and to communicate to anyone because I get used to speak in Bicol. The language that you use at home is your first language, which is also called the mother tongue. The first language that you've learned or language that are using inside your home is your mother tongue. Mother tongue depends on a certain places 
As for my case, I am from Bicol and get to use to speak the Bicol language. But then, as my family moved to Manila, I have to learn and speak Tagalog and to communicate to anyone. I have to be socialized to anyone. Schools are also indifferent of using language inside the classroom and some of the students came from the different places. Maritang based multilingual education or MPB MLE is a program served learners of non dominant language communities who do not understand or speak the language of instruction when they begin their formal education. According to UNESCO, UNESCO's one of the three principles of education in multilingual world, UNESCO supports mother tongue instruction as a means of improving education educational quality by building upon the knowledge and experience of the learners and teachers. International Mother Language Day, which is every 21st of February, celebrate to promote linguistic and cultural diversity and multilingualism. As for our former president said, Benigno Aquino Jr., learn English well and connect to the world. Learn Filipino well and connect to your country. And learn your dialect and connect to your heritage. Again, I am Jessica Veras and I that's my topic for the legal base of mother tongue. The legal basis of mother tongue. First is the Republic Act 1057 or the Kindergarten Education Act under Section 5 which is the medium of instruction. The state shall hereby adopt the mother tongue-based multilingual education or the MTB MLE method. The mother tongue of the learner shall be the primary medium of instruction for teaching and learning in the kindergarten level. So there are some provisions. First is when the pupils in the kindergarten classroom have different mother tongues or when some of them speak another mother tongue. Second is when the teacher does not speak the mother tongue of the learners. The third one is when resources in line with the use of the mother tongue are not yet available, and when teachers are not yet trained how to use the MTB MLE program. So the DEPED, in coordination with the Commission on Filipino Language and in close collaboration with academic and research institutions concerned with education, shall formulate a mother tongue multilingual framework for teaching and learning, provided that the DepEd will include teaching strategies as defined in Section 7, which is to introduce and eventually strengthen the child's understanding of English which is the official language. Under Section 7 are the duties, powers, and functions. Develop teaching strategies using the unique feature of the MTB MLE, which shall include but not limited to the following. First is the two-track method or storytelling and reading, listening story, oral communication activities. Second is the interactive strategies. The third one is the use of manipulative games and the fourth one is the experiential, small groups discussions and total physical response among others. So the learning development material shall consist of the following at the minimum. Listening story, small books, big books, experience theory, primary lessons and lesson exemplars. Good day everyone, my name is Yan C. J. Reason. So let me continue our topic Legal Basis of MTB MLE. RA number 10533, Section 2 Declaration of Policy. Make education learner oriented and responsive to the needs, cognitive, and cultural capacity. The circumstance and diversity of learners, schools, and communities to the appropriate language of teaching and learning, including mother tongue as a learning resource. Section 4. Enhanced Basic Education Program. 
for kindergarten and the first three, three years of elementary education, instruction, teaching, materials, and assessment shall be in the original or native language of the learners. The Department of Education shall formulate a mother language transition program from grade 4 to grade 6 so that Filipino and English shall be gradually introduced as language of instruction until such time when these two languages can become primary language of instruction at the secondary level. Section 5. Curriculum Development The curriculum shall adhere to the principles and framework of mother tongue-based multilingual education, which starts from where the learners are and from that they already know proceeding from the known to the unknown Instructional materials and capable teachers to implement the MTB MLE curriculum shall be available. Good morning, everyone. My name is Patrick Jade M. Tangob. So let's continue our discussion. Legal basis of MTB MLE. DO 13 series of 2012, the general guidelines for the implementation of grades 1 to 10 curriculum which cover the following areas are stipulated in enclosure number one which is first is the design of the curriculum desired outcomes of grades 1 to 10 program nomenclature and learning area and its description medium of instruction time allotment next is sample class program Learning resources, assessment and rating of learning outcomes, and lastly, culminating activities and performances. So, the O31 series 2013 states that mother tongue is used as MOI or medium of instruction for grades 1 and 2 for teaching math. Araling Panlipunan, Music, Arts, Physical Education and Health or MAPE, and also Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao. It also stated that Mother Tongue is taught as a separate learning area in grades 1 and 2. Then, Filipino as a learning area is first introduced in grade 1 during the second quarter or the second grading period and lastly it stated English as a learning area is first introduced in grade 1 during the third quarter or the third grading period that's all thank you